Hey there folks, Santi at the Arizona Ghost Riders. Due to recent developments, I thought it might be apropos to do an episode on medicine in the Old West. Doctors and medicine. Let's investigate. During the Civil War, many doctors became quick care professionals. Due to the high level of amputations to ward off infection, surgeons had the procedure down to about 10 minutes. This war opened their eyes to the deplorable medical conditions, and after the surrender, many went on to successful careers improving treatment for patients. Those who moved out west had a bigger challenge. Many of the pharmaceuticals and instruments weren't easily accessible and had to be manufactured by them. Dr. George W. King of Montana Territory designed a revolutionary device to set fractured bones. He was just one of many physicians dedicated to improving healthcare, not only on the frontier, but in the entire United States. Back in the frontier, there were no HMOs, PPOs, or even hostess ho-hos. Man, I like those. Dirty Dan. That's Mr. Dirty Dan to you. I seriously doubt you have insurance, but we're gonna go through this anyway. Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Aetna, <laughs> anything. What do you got? I got insurance. I'm underwritten by Jim Bowie. That works, we take Jim Bowie. Medical licensing wasn't common until the late 1870s, so many physicians weren't held to any standards. What seems to be the, what seems to be the trouble? Sanitary practices were still a problem, and many patients were taking a big risk going to see a doctor for a fear of infection. Just like in TV and movie westerns, many doctors made house calls and traveled by horse and buggy with a bag equivalent to a mobile hospital. They did everything from treating snake bites to cholera to delivering babies. Now a doctor visit was about 50 cents and delivering a baby was about $4. Their services couldn't always be paid for with real money, so they were frequently given the fruits of the patient's labor. Doc, I ain't got no cash. I got a sack of nice, juicy apples for you. A surgical procedure had a high probability of death, but like today, it may be the only solution. So many maladies weren't treatable with the technology of the time that painkillers like laudanum were given out frequently. Aspirin in the form of willow bark was chewed to relieve pain and reduce fevers. Many herbal remedies were brought to the table to help cure ailing pioneers. Some of these were brought to them by the Native Americans. Well folks, I hope you learned a little bit about frontier medicine. It was a very different time back then, huh? Well, thanks for watching another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. <laughs>